Some viewers may find this disturbing. Your discretion is advised. Before we get started with this video, I want to give a quick shout out to EDU Birdie. Please be sure to check them out if you're interested. And please be sure to understand that they are a essay writing company. And there have been a lot of people who say they are 100% plagiarism free. So use that shit at your own risk, okay? Thank you. What's good, everybody? It's Zest and Choice, and you're watching Choice TV. So today we're going to talk about the disgrace family, the scam family, the ass family, and again. the shenanigans. Again. Yes, here we are again. <laughs> Except Yvonne is wearing the same shit she wore yesterday. Actually, no, I'm not. This is a different black shirt. It has leather panels. It's okay. But it's the same hat. Listen. Try play me. So, I know what some of y'all are thinking. Oh, you niggers are back again doing another video. <laughs> First of all, bitch. We didn't expect to film this video again. <laughs> this bitch ass nigga Austin really think that only children watch his videos. <laughs> So I'm watching his video, and I'm like, by the way, he finally posted the tournament, the contest. He he actually posted it. He filmed the whole thing. The editing was great. It was good quality. Yes. He showed everybody shooting. DDG showed up. Everybody showed up. Oh, I forgot. We got five guys here. So everybody fucking showed up. Your fries are scattered all over that bag, bro. And yeah. then this shit got hella oil on it. We try to do key lesson. Listen, that... Fucking driver, fuck my shit. Anyways, give me my hot dog. <laughs> okay, here's your eight dollar hot dog. Thank you. Yeah, this shit was expensive. Okay, anyways, we'll get right to the fucking point before y'all click off. <laughs> so I'm eating Cajun fries, and this shit was four dollars. And as much as I didn't want to watch it and give this bitch the views, the eight time the views, I couldn't resist. We watched both videos. We watched DDG's vlog, and then we watched uh, Austin's vlog. Long story short, if you didn't see my last video, Austin's doing a hundred dollar, hundred thousand dollar giveaway, and he made it seem like it was something that the fans could be a part of. But nope, it, it was a dub. He basically said, "Fuck y'all, I want celebrities and creators." He got celebrities and creators to be a part of a contest. It was a private event. There was no tickets. Private event. He got at least twenty creators. Just like how he scammed the fuck out of his own fans, he ended up scamming the fuck out of the celebrities and the creators. <laughs> Enjoy that 100k! Wow. He really won 100k. Damn, it feels so good to like... Because a lot of people kept saying, yo, give it to someone who needs it. Like, they kept saying everyone in the event, you know, makes a lot of money, so they don't need it. So, let's talk about things that stood out to us in the video. And a lot of things that we noticed was this. Everybody did not show up to the event. Which was kind of fishy. For one, all the YouTubers showed up, but a few of the celebrities didn't show up. YG didn't show up. Nick Cannon came late as fuck. And Soldier Boy didn't show up. So I'm over here thinking, okay, that's red flag number one. Red flag number two was, okay, everybody's shooting the baskets, everybody's having a good time. And then out of nowhere, Austin says in the video, you know what? Hey, you and the audience come down here. You can play, you can have a try. <laughs> oh my God. To make it a little interesting real quick, I had uh, two of my good basketball friends, someone who actually played basketball, college basketball. I want them two to come out, I'm gonna let them give a chance too. Okay, it's okay. Oh, okay, you can tell, he can shoot, he can shoot. Oh yeah, he got that shot. Oh, he got the rhythm, he can okay. This is it! This is it! This is it! <laughs> this nigga made that shit his second try. And what did I say in the last video, y'all? Whoever wins this shit must definitely be a pro player. And what was this man? A pro D1 basketball player. To make it a little interesting real quick, I had uh, two of my good basketball friends, someone who actually played basketball, college basketball. I want them two to come out. I'm going to let them give a chance too. Okay, it's okay. Oh, okay. You can tell. He can shoot. He can shoot. Kill that shit. In two tries. D. Mademoiselle Baxter strikes again. 
<laughs> bitch. <laughs> but let's be real here. Unless you're like legit a pro basketball player who's really about to be out here shooting 10 consecutive three point shots, like nobody's gonna win that. Hey man, I gotta give it to you. I gotta give it to him. He wasn't even in the contest. <laughs> so. How was it that he got somebody that wasn't even in the competition? Was nowhere in the wasn't entered. Just randomly happens to come. Oh wait, it gets better. Homeboy got a YouTube channel now. Yeah, it's on his story. Oh yeah, we do our research. Uh huh. We found his Instagram and the nigga got a whole YouTube channel now. Now he's like, swipe up guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. This was a collab. This is a big ass collab. collab! This is y'all king. This is y'all king. This is who y'all support. Are we still are, are we still dumb little hating niggers that have no life? Mm. <laughs> it gets worse. Nick Cannon came in late as fuck. <laughs> and it's crazy because before Nick Cannon walked in, as soon as the D1 pro athlete won, he literally says, oh, it's so funny. Nick Cannon literally just called me. He just told me he was pulling up right now. I thought I was going to have to shoot. You know what's crazy, too? Nick Cannon just texted me said he was pulling up. Ain't hey, that something. That's crazy. Okay. Nick Cannon's the only celebrity that showed up. Mind you, right? Yeah. What if he lied? Yeah, real celebrity. He's the only real celebrity that showed up. Yeah. What if Austin lied and couldn't even get celebrities to be a part of it because he can't afford celebrities? Yeah, pull the damn what Fousey if tube. He pulled the damn Fousey <laughs> tube. What if he really, really, really couldn't get Nick Cannon to sit in that bitch for five hours? What if he just got Nick Cannon to stop by, say hello, and walk out? Because YG didn't show up and Soldier Boy didn't show up. Oh yeah, um, P Diddy's son didn't show up either. And Christian Combs, P Diddy's son, Christian Combs was also supposed to play, but he didn't show up. But also, peek this. Once Nick Cannon watched in, as you can see in this clip, look what Nick Cannon says. Form up or none, he was just stroking. So what was it to get the honey So you just had to shoot from five spots, right? Uh -huh. And then come back around. So you make ten in a row. Oh, oh, <laughs> he literally just hit it. Like just left with the money. So what was it to get the honey So you So what was it to get the honey cake? So you He asks Austin, So what did you have to do to win? Bitch, ain't you a contestant? Listen. You came unprepared, bitch? I think that he didn't watch the video. I really genuinely think he didn't watch the video. The shit is on Instagram. He said tag your favorite celebrity. Nick and Cannon ain't got time to be watching no YouTuber's video on Instagram. He had time to pull up to a YouTuber's event. For two seconds, he came late! He <laughs> didn't <laughs> barely had the time. No idea what was going on. Austin was literally explaining to him what was going on. And I'm like, if you're a contestant on that list, you should have known what was going on. Because, you, cause, first of all, I ain't showing up to nowhere, nowhere, unless I know what's, what's up. Like, I'm not just going to show my face just because. Clearly, Nick Cannon had no idea. Tell me what y'all think down below, because it seemed like to me Nick Cannon had no idea what was going on. The details of the competition. How's the hot dog assistant? You don't stop fucking calling me. It says you're gonna put some respect on my name. And this hot dog is actually really good. Mm. It better be. I have a fortune for it. Another thing that popped. That, that, <laughs> another thing that happened in the video that really had me fucked up was. So, if you guys don't know, King Batch was a part of the contest. <laughs> and King Batch. Was he on the, the list? <laughs> yeah, he was on the list. He was one of the contestants. All, this, all, this, all the Instagrammers and YouTubers showed up. King Batch. <laughs> they asked every single person that was a contestant, how do you feel? What do you think of the, the event? Everybody answered and said it was fun, it was cool. But King Badge, being the messy bitch that he is, this is what he said. It was rigged, you feel me? It was supposed to be rigged for me, but I guess it rigged it for somebody else. I was supposed to walk away with 100000 But it's all good, though. It's all love. No, I'm just kidding. It was dope. It was dope. <laughs> Come on, now. Don't nobody joke like that. Don't nobody joke that accurately. So clearly, King Batch was trying to be shady as fuck and was trying to be messy. First of all, I feel I feel some type of way about all of the motherfuckers talking about it was a great event. <laughs> and then King Batch was like, oh, you know, it was a rigged event. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was a great event. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm like, y'all know y'all mad as shit, because that shit was rigged. How the hell you get somebody who's not even in the competition to win? And let's give our critique on that. No. It's fucked up that Austin literally wasted everybody's time. Yep. Like, first of all... Just to get you, somebody who's not even in the competition to win. You said if <laughs> nobody on the list wins, if none of the, the contestants, contestant, none of the contestants win, you said that she would keep the money and host another event. For you to give the money and say, I'm going to host another event anyways. But instead, he said nobody was making the shot, so, so he called gonna, in reinforcement. So he said, "All right, you know what? Hey, um, come win this shit real quick. I got shit to do." <laughs> Is that even? I'm legal? sorry, <laughs> that's like, not okay. At this point, this becomes illegal. So you know, let's move right along. Let's talk about the fact that after the whole game and after the whole winning thing, Austin went home to explain himself and he decided you know what just in case choice fat ass will try to debunk this let me try to come up with an explanation so I won't have to you know go live and make a fool of myself like I do all the time he fucking decided at the end of the video to explain himself sit there and ask stupid ass questions and ask the winner shit like this shooting and they're like okay there's people that got close but I'm like yo let's make it more interesting and get somebody that actually plays basketball don't do it with the hundred thousand Get my own spot. That's dope. Definitely be handing out some money to the homeless. That's dope, and bro. Going to some some different charities for sure. That's so dope, bro. I appreciate you. So we can actually give it away. Like it wasn't like we were trying to pick people that had no chance. Like no, clearly, I allowed you to shoot. I allowed people to shoot. You really want a hundred k? This was our reaction. Hold on, let me put let me put the food down, cause this this was our legit reaction after watching that shit. Y'all going to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> That's why I had to pull my my sweater out of dirty clothes. Austin want to pull down. Austin thinks we dumb. Oh my god! I was like, I had to put on my caca shirt because this shit is poo poo caca. Bruh, I didn't care for the Ace family before. I really never cared for them. But now, you but just now I'm just like, no. Y'all, y'all frauds. I don't fuck with y'all. <laughs> y'all are really horrible people. <laughs> <laughs> and kids eat this shit up. Kids are gonna believe the fuck out of this. Oh we just God. sat there like, you guys are so inspirational. I love you guys. The people who were defending them and dragging me in my DMs were taking pictures like this. <laughs> No, what really bothered me was Catherine, bruh. Let's talk about Catherine. After Austin had that long ass conversation, basically repeating himself and talking in circles to that nigga over the phone. Oh my Let me tell you this. God. He decided to ask Catherine and explain Catherine. See, see what Catherine had to say, and this is what Catherine said. And he was the happiest dude in the world. He said that 100,000 is the same amount he would have made overseas in three, four years. And he said that Stop. he's going to use the 100000 to move out of his parents' house. Oh, my God. And he did say he's going to donate a portion to charity, which is dope, which is what we wanted. And I believe him because he's a good friend of mine. I've known him forever, so wow. I trust him in that. And it's going to change It's gonna change a lot for him because he, he really needed the oh money. Oh, my God. And that's the best part about this whole thing. Like, he wasn't even a part of the contest, and he won someone who needed the money. I'm so happy he I, won. God works in serious ways. Like, what are the odds of that? <laughs> Oh. So, baby, uh, uh, see, no one could win the shot, oh. but we decided to give the shot to, you know, someone who actually needed it. Oh my god. He looked like he really needed it. Yeah. And he was, like, making the shots, and it was just, like, so incredible. Like, I saw it in his eyes that he really needed it. Like, oh my god. Yeah, and, and don't you think it's, like, like so crazy yeah. that, like, he actually actually like like won that thing yeah i could see that he really 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 the, tel needed it. the teleprompter is right there oh i can tell that he really 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 needed it captain i'm confused you're a fucking robot bitch <laughs> captain bleak twice if that nigga beating your ass <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I made the funniest video I ever watched this year so far. I was just like, what the fuck is this? Catherine is a whole, Catherine is a whole big wall. I can't believe they actually try to pull a fast one on us. I'm like, people actually are gonna believe this shit? I'm mad the contestants were so compliant. There's no fucking way. No yeah. one. It was a great game. What? He wasted y'all time. <laughs> he gave it to somebody that wasn't even a contestant. <laughs> and he was talking about, oh, he gonna give the money to homeless people. I was just like, who actually needed it and I know you're gonna do something good with the money portion is definitely going to charity I will definitely be handing out some money to the homeless that's dope bro going to some some different charities for sure that's so dope bro <laughs> I want a said. charity bitch I want a charity and Austin tried to he Austin knows he's full of shit and he I'm pretty sure he watched the footage back and correct me if I'm wrong but I'm sure he watched our video hell yeah he's over here like you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, that, oh, you know, you know, it's not fair, you know, you know, it's a basketball player, you're only a basketball player would win, but no one could really tell who a basketball player is. You know, everyone there thought they were the best, but you know, he, you know, he was lucky enough to win. How ironic was it, his first try, he got all nine shots, right? Yeah. And he missed the last one. Yeah. And then, yeah. his second try, he decided to, he decided to go like minutes later he let everybody go again and then he went last and then he missed he got every single shot this is a little bit fucking weird and if anybody believes this shit <sighs> good luck charlie you know no you know how i know wait 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 what are you doing that's my good luck charlie thing what like, the hell I've never seen it. Anyways. <laughs> no. What really got me, this is how I know he watched the video. He was talking about some, oh, some people were saying that, oh, these people make too much money. I did mm, mm. You don't know what goes on in these people's personal lives. Bitch, social blade. <laughs> <laughs> all these niggas have millions of followers. I'm sure they're all making a good amount of money. I'm sure Nick Cannon is fine. I'm pretty sure he doesn't need your 100,000 chump change, okay? <laughs> I'm sure Christian Combs has a billion dollar inheritance, okay? So, at the end of the day, just to sum everything all up, the whole video was full of shit and it was exactly what I expected it to be. Trash, poo poo, caca, dumpster shit. That's exactly what the video was. And, in conclusion, if you still support the Ace family, don't come back here talking about, you were right, no bitch, stay your ass over there. I gave that away to a college student. DDG, I know you watching this. He was talking about how I'm I, I'm a big ass hater. I'm the biggest <laughs> hater on you. Might go get nowhere in life. But look at look at you. Look you at how you wasted your time. You got you. You should have watched my damn videos. <laughs> okay, you should have watched my videos. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's fucked up that he did this to influencers because they could have been doing anything. They could have been filming, editing, but he wasted their time. For them, for them to just be, for them to just stand around and be used as clickbait. Yep. Yeah, for them much. to vlog it and bring more traffic to it to their audience. Pretty much. I just think it's so wrong that he wasted everybody's time, and I feel like somebody needs to like speak out and say something. Like, you wasted. This needs sugar, bro. Is this sugar in this house? Don't tell me this shit. Was I paid three dollars for this shit. This shit ain't got no sugar. <laughs> This is honest tea. Oh God! Honest. Oh, it's honest. Often, all right. Often use this shit. Try shaking it. I don't think shaking this is gonna do anything. I'm sure one of the, I'm sure one of those creators <coughs> said something to him and yeah. was like, "Dude, what the hell? You that's fucked up." I'm pretty sure people called his ass out because they didn't interview all the contestants. They interviewed the people who didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Where was J.C. Kalen? Where was um, Supreme Patty? He had nothing to say. Where was um, uh, let's see. Who else was on that list? Landon. 
Kills was on that damn list. Yeah, that's kind of weird. How was his Why brother? Why then Almighty J? His brother. Was it his brother? His brother and his, his, brother and his best friend were on the list of contestants. <laughs> You're giving a honey kiss to your brother and best friend? <laughs> it's like... That shit went right back into their bank account. This was not a giveaway. This was not this a giveaway. This shit went right back it into their bank account. It was a scam. In conclusion, it was a scam. We were right. This shit is not legit. We wanted to see how everything was going to unfold. And it unfolded exactly how we predicted it would be. They're going to okay? have the H&R block like. Listen, this is a big ass <laughs> tax write off. Okay? Because for those of y'all kids who don't know, you got to pay taxes eventually. Yes. Especially we, YouTubers. We pay yeah, all. We pay a lot of taxes. Okay? And... I'm pretty sure he owes the IRS a big chunk of change, and maybe that's why he's doing all these fucking charity events. Damn, bitch, three charity events in one year? So, at this point, I'm thinking that they're going to pull up to H&R Block or to their accountant and be like, oh, okay, um, you see? Charity event. Make sure you write off $100,000, okay? So we don't owe that much to the IRS. First of all... Yep, and the beginning of the year, perfect time. Perfect timing to scam. Yeah. Gotta start off early in the year. Get all them tax write-offs. They smart. They real smart. They could manage me. Mm -hmm. I take everything back. Come manage me, please. And y'all still gonna find something wrong with this video. Yeah. You guys are some fat fucks. Fuck you fucking y'all. haters. <laughs> you fucking faggot. Oh my god, you've made 13 videos. <laughs> okay. Okay. Your life. <laughs> <laughs> You're a whole grown man talking shit about other people. <laughs> Why can't YouTubers just support one another? <laughs> we don't support scammers. <laughs> we don't support scammers, okay? God. I think we got everything. But yeah. And if I won, I was gonna donate all of it to charity, but somebody really won. And the best part about it, the person that won needed the money the most. And he did say he's going to donate his portion to charity. Whatever it is, it can be anything. Just as long as he donates some to charity, that's the only thing that matters. It's always for a good cause. Why does he keep emphasizing charity? This is for the greater good. You know me and Catherine love giving back. Okay, he bye. he says that shit one more fucking time. <laughs> bye, bitch. Bye. Okay, we're going to... We don't give a fuck, okay? <laughs> that shit is so fucking annoying. Anyway, that was that for this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give your thoughts in the comment section down below. We think we pretty much addressed everything. Give your thoughts. We gotta know what y'all think. Because we can't be the only ones who see this shit, okay? But yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. The food was trash. How was the hot dog? It was okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. I think I already said that like fucking six times. But yeah. Choice out this bitch. <laughs>